There he is. There he is. There he is. Oh, hang on. Oh, I got it. I just got eight. I just got eight. Oh, he freaking hammered that one. All right. Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to the Florida Keys. We got a beautiful sunrise coming up right over there. Today, we're going to be doing a whole lot of land-based fishing. Found a bunch of spots on Google Earth, and uh, just going to hit a bunch of these areas. Throw some swim baits, throw, throw a few different lures, see if we can't find some tarpon. I got tarpon on the mind. Y'all see me uh, hook a big one off the beach a few days ago back at home. I caught my first one down here last month, but it was a little one. Really want to try to get a big tarpon today. Um, there's also jacks around here, barracuda, uh, yellow jacks, possibly some snook. A lot of options, but mainly looking for those big fish. We're just going to hit all these spots this morning see what we can't find it is absolutely beautiful out here this morning trying to look to see if we see any tarpon rolling or anything like that i'll walk this little rock ledge here oh tarpon right there let's go all right so i just saw a few tarpon rolling right over here first cast of the morning What we're working with this morning is a big one ounce jig head with a three inch gulp shrimp on it. Now, generally, I wouldn't use a jig head this big, but there's some deep water and a lot of current around here, especially around these bridges. We're gonna be fishing a little bit later. Um, so using this heavier jig head to get us down even through all that current. I know it looks a little silly, but that's what we got working with. Need these tarpon to roll again. We got a trash can right there. People still leaving their trash on the ground. Clean up some of this mess before we move on to the next spot. Gotta keep this water clean. Ridiculous. Lazy, lazy people. Guys. That's right. All right, y'all. We're gonna do a little bit of snapper fishing now. I just got a little snapper jig tied on here. We got some fresh dead shrimp. Nobody has live shrimp right now. There's a ton of mangrove snapper right here. Come on. Oh, we missed it. There we go. I'm on this time. Oh, little mangrove. Not quite a keeper. They do have to be 10 inches down here in Florida. Yeah, I need a piece. See ya, buddy. Thanks, Cruz. We got some parrotfish mixed in with there. Looks like a couple lane snapper. And Cruz already has a keeper in the box, so there are some keepers in here. Got two, keepers. two keepers? There we go. There's a good one. There's a good one. Oh, I just pulled the hook on him. Dang. What is that? Cuda. You got one? Yeah. Chris threw out a live pinfish. Just got ate by a barracuda. He's running out here. He's running out here. Do you have wire? Nope. It's a big freaking barracuda. Get him, Chris. Oh, it just cut you? Yeah. Dang. I don't know if y'all can see them in the water right here. That barracuda right there just ate Chris's pinfish. Ended up cutting them off. We were, he threw out a live bait for some tarpon. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna pitch out another live pinfish with some wire and see if I can get the cuda to eat. We're on. That didn't take long. Oh, I just pulled the hook. No, he just he pulled the hook. That's a big cuda, bro. He's back on it. I'm gonna let him eat. I got wire. I'm gonna let him eat it for a second. All right, I'm letting him eat because I pulled hook on him last time. There he is, there he is, there he is. 
Got him. Got the barracuda. Oh, he spit it again. Eat it, dude. Can't believe I pulled hook on that dang barracuda. Gonna come back and see if we can't get us some keeper mangroves. I threw my <coughs> I threw my bait back out there, just let it sit, so see if he comes back for it. After being hooked twice, he uh, may be a little spooked. There's a mangrove. Little bitty fella. Actually, that's a grunt. He might be a good bait. We'll save him. Yeah, rig up another piece of shrimp. Tough to keep these smaller fish away. A big thing? A big freaking mangrove. A big thingy thing? Get out, get out. Nice. That's a big one. Is this a um, schoolmaster? Yeah. Schoolmaster snapper. What size I gotta be? Let's see here. Fish rules app. Schoolmaster. 10 inches. All right, he's a little over 10 inches, so we're going to go ahead and throw him in the cooler. We're going to do us a little catch and cook. Crew's got a keeper schoolmaster. I don't know that I've ever eaten schoolmaster snapper. I would assume it tastes similar to the mangroves and all that. But we going to find out. We're going to do a little comparison. Mangrove versus schoolmaster. Oh. Little guy, little guy, he's got me in the rocks. This one is definitely not a keeper. There's a lobster coming out right there. That was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Lots of life down here in the Keys. All right, going back in for snappers. It's like I see the big ones, but I can't freaking feed them. Oh, he freaking hammered that one. Come on, baby. You might be a keeper. You might be a oh, keeper. A big shark. I think we got us a keeper. All right, check it out, y'all. That's definitely a keeper. We're gonna throw this one on ice. Working up a little, uh, little dinner here. Oh, Chris is on. What were you throwing? Grouper? I don't know. I might just let go. You still got the fish? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, he's yeah you got there. something. He's coming. It'd be sweet if it's a, it looks like a jack. What was that? Was that a jack? Yeah. That was just on a piece of shrimp. Well, a, uh, a little shark. Nice. Chris with the little shark. Bonnet heads are supposed to be really good to eat. You want to keep them? That's probably a really good size to eat. It's about the size to catch one on the beach or back at home, huh? Yeah. We can try it. All right, so when you're catching these sharks, if you're going to keep one, you got to make sure you bleed it and gut it and everything because they are... They like pee through their skin. They have a lot of ammonia. Um, so you got to take care of all that like instantly get it on ice. So that's what we're going to do now. Clean this thing up. Shark catch and cook. First one on the channel. Thanks to Chris. Chris is like hand feeding an eel. He just cleaned the shark. Dude. Let's see if I can get him from this angle. That is crazy. That is so cool. There he is. That is so crazy. So as we're fishing this area, a sheriff ended up pulling up and telling us that we're actually not allowed to fish this area. 
Um, there was no signs or anything saying no trespassing. I've talked to multiple people that have fished this area as well that said um, that they've fished this spot. But he did end up saying they've had issues with kids coming in there and like spraying graffiti on that abandoned house that they were building there. Um, kids coming and having parties and leaving trash. Um, so now he's just asking for our fishing license. We're showing our license. He's checking everything out, making sure we're not doing anything illegal or anything like that. It was kind of funny though, because like, as you saw a second ago, he searched the back of the truck in a bucket. He's like looking in our tackle bags, all kinds of stuff. And we have the cooler with the fish we were keeping, which were all legal. They, they were all legal size and everything like that. Um, but he never even actually looked in the cooler. Um, he, he checked everything else, which was kind of funny. Um, super cool guy though. He ended up being really nice. Just asking us what we we're fishing for, where we're from, all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately we weren't able to stick around and fish this spot. So had to pack it up, move elsewhere. Well, the sheriff told us we had to leave, could not fish in that particular area. So we're moving on to another spot that Brent gave me. He's been out here catching some fish. So it's alongside the side of the road here, just before you get to a bridge. And there's a little canal that kind of runs um, right by the land and you can just fish it from land here. There's not really a lot of beaches in this area. You just kind of got to like pull off the side of the road. But uh, we're going to walk up here, give a shot, see if we can't get on some fish. Let's do it. All right, guys, we just made it to this uh, little jetty's rock wall over by the bridge. We got a gulp shrimp tied on with a pretty heavy jig head. There's a lot of current, pretty deep water, so a little unconventional, but got to try to get down. I'm just going to see if we can't work this thing off the bottom. Let's see what we got hanging out around these bridges. Well, the first cast wasn't a success. Brant lied to us. Yeah, because I, I hooked it. Hang on, hang on, Chris. Hang on, hang on. Oh, I, got, I just got eight. I just got eight. And it was just drifting. I stopped reeling because me and Cruz were about to get tangled. That looks like Jack, maybe. I don't know. It's got a ton of head shakes, so. Surely a tarpon would have jumped by now. Um, Cruz, do you mind grabbing that other GoPro up there? That would be amazing. No idea what we have on here. I w literally was not even reeling or bumping or nothing. I was just letting this fish drift down in that current. Again, he hasn't jumped yet, so I don't think it's going to be a tarpon. My guess is maybe a jack. Maybe a... Uh, Maybe a snook. I don't know how fun it's gonna be to land a fish here with all these rocks. But oh, I see him. Is that a jack? Yeah, I think so. Try, try not to fall in the water here. That's a jack. No, I got him. Little fun size jack creval on the gulp shrimp. I got your rock. Thank you. Oh, he just spit it. He just spit the hook. <laughs> he literally just spit the hook. I handed Cruz the, the rod so I could try to land him. Ah. He sit still for a second. He ate that gulp shrimp just drifting on the bottom. Really cool, Jack. These fun ones, or these little ones, are actually pretty fun to fight. Back in Alabama, we get like the big 20, 25 pounders, which are awesome, but fun fight. Awesome, what? Okay, he was ready to go. <laughs> he can't complain. We have made it back to the house now. Crew's about to go for a swim. Maybe. Backflip. Off the Cannonball off the balcony. I would love to do that. There's more right there. Catch him. Get him, Cruz. Chris is going to clean up our fish for us. We got a few different kinds of snapper and the shark. Nice bonnet head. If you've ever eaten bonnet head shark, comment down below. Let me know how you cooked it and if you liked it or not. I've never even ate shark before. Got some mangroves, some schoolmaster. 
All right, Chris cleaning up the mangroves. There's so much mullet, I just can't get it. It's gonna be more like an appetizer. Mm-hmm. Tacos. Tacos. Taco, taco. These things are so weird. We could probably fry these up for lunch. And do that tri-tip for dinner. Yeah. Have you ever had shark before? Me, yeah. How'd you cook it? Fried it. Fried? It like deep fried? Yeah. Like little nuggets? Mm -hmm. What did it taste like? Like fish. It's, it's, it's not bad at all. Backflip. Backflip? I can't do a backflip. Here you can. Okay. Try hard. You got it. Really Alright, front flip. Cannonball. Belly flop. How's the water feel? It feels so good. How's it taste? It tastes not so good. <laughs> All right, Chris, show us how it's done. That does stink. Stinky. The meat looks good though. Yeah, it's nice white. Nice white yeah. meat. Yeah, if you fry it up, I mean, everything's good fried. Based off the smell of this shark, I don't know that I'm gonna be a fan. Hopefully we can kind of pull, hopefully the meat does not taste like that. We did bleed it and gutted it right after we kept it. So that should make the meat all right. I think that's all you can do, right? Uh, yeah, uh, soak it in, in buttermilk. The meat does not look that bad though, honestly. I think it'll be all right. All right, so now that we have cleaned the shark and cut the skin off, it does not stink anymore. It was just the skin from, I guess, because they do pee through their skin. And so because we did bleed it and gut it and do all that, now that the skin is off, the meat's fine, smells good. I feel a little bit better about this. You excited? I am. I haven't had shark in a while. I'm curious to revisit that. Heck yeah. Let's go to the kitchen. All right, y'all, back home in the kitchen now. Got all the fish cut up. Thanks to Chris, cleaning the fish for us. And uh, we got a little egg wash going on here. We got the batter over this way. We're using the Louisiana Cajun Crispy Fish Fry. That's our shark. Still not 100% sure on it. Definitely batter it last, just in case it ruins the rest of the fish. <laughs> Have either of y'all ever had sharks, buddy, Cruz? No, never. I, I you eat sharks, but that was bad luck. We're about to find out. Okay. It's not bad luck. A I lot of people eat sharks. I don't get bit by a shark if I eat one. <laughs> Everybody that I know that has eaten sharks says it's delicious, so I think it's gonna be just fine. Got the oil heating up here. It's gonna take a second, but uh, ready to eat. That is looking pretty dang good. I love some fried fish. Too. All right, well Chris is basically doing all the cooking for our, our dinner here. Got the oil heated up, got a couple pieces of fish in there. Is that the mangrove snapper? Uh, yes. Perfect. Love some mangrove snapper. And we had those schoolmaster snapper, which I don't think I've ever ate. The meat looked really good though. So I'm excited to try uh, all this fish. And we're, we're gonna save the best for last with the shark. In case it's terrible, we don't ruin the grease. <laughs> we'll, we'll see what happens. I'm still kind of nervous. But. All right, how's it looking over here? Looking like fried fish. Is that our shark? That is our shark. All right, that's everything else. <laughs> yep, dinner is ready. We got all the snapper. We got the shark. You all excited? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I'm stoked. I'm not. <laughs> we also, Chris whipped up a little bit of rice as well. So we do have some rice. Y'all make a plate. Chris, you cooked, you make a plate first. I'll go ahead. Nope, you. Oh, I'll, I'll go ahead. All right, buddy. Oh, oh damn, yeah. it's gonna be good. A little bit of rice. Because I'm fat and hungry, you know that. Yeah, yeah we do. Yeah. You Growing do. up on the coast, I'm surprised you've never had shark before. Dude, I, I again, I thought it was bad luck to eat something that could eat meat. Like, like but it is on a boat. All right, let me right, get this handsome guy. Look at him. Get a little bit of rice over here. Well, yeah, we had a lot of leftover rice from the other night. Okay. Crush me. <laughs> Snapper. My favorite is fried snapper. Like you cannot go wrong with fried fish. What do you like about best about it? It's just so flavorful. 
Like anything fried though. I like fried chicken, exactly. fried jalapenos, fried pickles, fried everything. Dip it in ranch. Fried butter. Dip it in ranch, absolutely. <laughs> put the put the shark over there so I don't forget. I am gonna hit it with a little bit of sriracha mayo too though. I'll put it on the side just in case. Alright. I want all of us to try this shark at the same time though, because I'm interested in everybody's well, I've already tried it. We're gonna take a bite? Alright, well me and Buddy, Chris tried it too. You gonna try it too? Me and you have not tried it. You you want my stage response or you want honest? Honest. Okay. 100 percent honest. honest. Tons of flavor, super firm, really good. It is really good. Yeah. I still, my problem anytime I try something new, is just like the mental aspect of like, seems weird to eat that. Mentally, I don't enjoy it. <laughs> Flavor wise though, it like, it tastes fine. Um, a little spicy. It is very spicy. That's the, yeah, that's, that's the matter. That's the matter. Oh, I did, I'm like, it's all gonna be a little spicy. Uh, shark is spicy, it's a little bit dangerous. Yeah. <laughs> it does have a little more flavor though. I can taste it on the back of my tongue now. That's the difference the, uh, between the shark and the, like that's the pea. <laughs> it's the more pea. firmer. Pea flavor. It is definitely more firm as well. Firmer. Yes. If this would have been a bigger shark, like we could have cut it into steaks and like real wow. shark steaks. Try it. Not too shabby. Uh, kill the shark before it kills you, you're gonna love it. Absolutely. Hi Cruz. Try some shark on camera. I did. It's good. Not on camera, you didn't. Eat it for the camera. This is for the tubes, man. Cruz also got to hand feed a uh, eel. Yes, a moray eel. That was really cool. That was Which scary. Was, <laughs> so I, I told his dad part of the story. I didn't tell him the whole part of the story. But so like he's dangling the meat. Y'all y'all probably already played this clip. Y'all saw it, but. He's like, we tell him to dangle the meat, like, but don't put your fingers down there. He's like, he'll bite your fingers off. <laughs> he like puts his whole hand. Uh, <laughs> like, Dude, that's not what we meant by no fingers. Like, keep your fingers behind the rock. The eel might eat your finger. Dude, this eel just comes up and just like attacks the piece of meat. Yeah. It was a little bit scary. I don't know if any of you out there have teenage boys. He's 13. If there is a wrong way to do it, that is a I will do it and like the sheer like chaos right. into this. Uh, I will do it. Yeah. God bless. Because you did you did also snorkel in six hundred foot of water. Dude, and I was trying to get a lobster today. There was like a bunch of lobster. I was just trying to grab one and I and I like on this rock and I just fall in the water. I'm just soaking wet all on the rocks. It was so funny. Yeah, I think that's when we were messing with the ill. Chris, did you try some? You gotta try some on camera. Yeah. Shark? What? Whatever you want, man. Whatever you want. We're gonna have to start keeping some sharks. Yeah. Very good. I wonder, so... Because it does still have like a little extra flavor, and that smell was obviously from the ammonia. Is there an extra step that we didn't know about to? Yeah. So get your shark. You usually want to soak it in buttermilk overnight. Soak it. Okay. Yeah. So maybe if we had some buttermilk, that might have pulled some of that out. And it's not like bad taste. I don't. I didn't taste like it. Did. The fact it you just said had like that some extra. Yeah. Like it has a little bit of extra taste. Got it. Extra flavor. It's not knowing that I didn't taste that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. It's almost like like a gamey taste for fish. Right. But it's not bad. And again, not that it's bad. It's just a little more fishy yeah. than some other things. So if any of y'all have any ideas, comment down below. Oh, I got him. I got him. There he is. There we go. He had it, was just running with it. Nice. Come on, buddy. This is so sick. Catching these monsters right up on this busy bridge. Morning traffic running right past us. Woo! That's a big one. That's a hoss there. That's a good one. God dang, that wind's blowing. I know, that wind's rough.
I'm gonna get the away. I don't want to cut it. Hey, 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 hey. There you go. Awesome. Hang on, hang on. Sorry. We get him on this All side. Right. Uh, there we go. Up. There we go. Nice. Woo! We're putting the fireman to work this morning. Jack, Jack, Jack. Gotcha. <laughs> Heck yeah. Nice. Woo! Circle hook right in the top of the mouth. <laughs> right in the top. <laughs> All right, y'all, check out that big girl there. Bringing the electric e-bike out here on the bridge. Hooking into these big monsters. First one broke me off pretty quick. Got this one up. They were down there thick. And uh, we're going to let this one go. Drop another crab down and see if we can get on them again. All right. You ready to go, big girl? See ya. <laughs> that was a good one. Thanks, brother. Yeah. All right, y'all. That was awesome. Got another crab here. Hook him back up, going back under this bridge. There we go. Another blue crab going down. It's a little bit sketchy leaning over this big rail, but this is basically just like fishing Juno Pier for these big snook. It's pretty dang cool, actually. I've already had two hits. Jack's had two hits. Sean's had one. So uh, they're down here thick. It's really cool coming out and being able to fish on this busy bridge like this. This bridge is pretty new. They were almost done building it. And then when Hurricane Sally hit in 2020, one of the barges came and knocked out a big portion of this bridge and they had to rebuild part of it. Shut down this entire thing that connects Gulf Breeze to Pensacola. There's another bridge, Garson Point, way over that way. So people coming to Pensacola had to go all the way around and uh, cause a ton of damage, bunch of lawsuits, big ordeal, but really cool coming out here and fishing off this thing we all three got a setup down here we all got our electric bike it's about 20 foot deep down there it's so we're just pitching these baits up under the bridge i might be getting eight right here yep i'm getting it i'm getting eight i don't think so Nope. Still got my crab though. We're gonna sling it back down. Actually, let me check that. Yeah, I need to put a fresh piece of crab on there. Got eight while I was chit-chatting. They thick down here, boys. Tell you what, these crabs will make you stink. I'm just swinging these baits out and then swinging them up under this bridge as far as I can. This big drum like to hide out on the pilings and underneath all this. Look at Jack having to stand up on the railing just so he can reach over the top rail little man hey, syndrome you ah, <laughs> got me how's it going how's it going <laughs> well the bite has seemed to slow down at this spot so we're going to move down a little bit further into some deeper water and see if maybe some more of them are hanging out down there a lot of times the bigger ones are in the deeper water too we're thinking it's like 15 to 20 foot here should be closer to 30 a little further down so we're going to rig everything up Head on down there, drop some more baits, see if we can't get on some giants. Hey, come on. Snap. I'm gonna let him out, see if he'll swim out. Snap. What? He's still on. Is he way under? Yeah. Oh, damn. Come on. Get out, baby. Are you on the structure? Can you feel it? Yeah. Come on. Here, I'll move your rod if you want. Walk down that way, try to pull him away from us. Get out. He hammered it. It's just rip and drag out. I'm trying to pull him out of whatever he's in. My line's rubbing all over stuff. Come on, baby. He's coming. He's just on nice him. and easy. That's a good fish, whatever it is. I can still feel a little bit. It's definitely still on there though. Yeah, it's a big something. Oh. No! <sighs> Cut me off. Yeah, it ended up. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one. 
This leader is completely frayed. Oh, God. <laughs> Dang. That was a good one. That was a good one. Snook fishing. <laughs> I know. That one hurts. All right, re-rigged here after losing that giant. Not sure if it was a big black drum, possible big redfish, maybe possibly a grouper snapper or something. Who knows? He just like instantly got me in the stuff. Started pulling them out and just couldn't get her done. Got some dolphins here to play. Chasing some bait. All right, just got a little thump again. Baby, come back. You can blame it all on me. All right, just thumped it again. Good. Did any of y'all call in? Huh? Are y'all the only ones that are fishing out here? Yeah. On this side, I don't know if anybody's over there. Yeah. Y'all got y'all fishing last year? Yeah. Thank you. No problem. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. What's that under? That app? Florida. Florida. Yeah. Fish on the oh, okay. Fish on the I saw y'all caught his black drum so far. Yeah, yeah he had red one fish. redfish. Big red. We got one cooler, but it's just got crabs yeah. in it. So. Just crabs in there, yeah. Well, good deal, guys. Well, y'all have a good one. Okay? Yeah, man. Right, you too. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, apparently somebody called FWC on us. I don't know if it was one of the bikers or walkers out here on the bridge or somebody driving by. And it uh, could have been somebody on the other side. There's more bridge on the other side of this little hump. So maybe there's somebody over there fishing, doing something wrong. But dude was pretty cool. And most of the time when we have these run-ins with the game warden or FWC, most of the time they're pretty cool. Yeah. Like they're just doing their job, checking fishing license, doing doing whatever. So uh, he, he was a super nice guy. And uh, all he did was check our fishing license. Everything's good to go. We're not keeping fish today anyway. So didn't have any, any shot at anything illegal, but we're, uh, we're going to hang out for a little bit longer, see if we can get hooked up on another giant. I've had some big ones, lost a lot of fish today, only landed the one. Sean is uh, having the day so far, but... He did catch a remora, though. He, he did catch a remora. That, that oh, deducts right. a point. <laughs> that definitely deducts a point there, but we still got some more time, see so if we can hook up on some more giants. The bridge grand slam. A black drum, a red fish, a remora. <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the grand slam there. <laughs> Y'all go check out Sean's video to uh, to see that awesome remora catch. <laughs> hey, Sean, you're getting eight. Look how fast that old fireman is. Oh, swing and a miss. Come on, baby. Uh. There's like some structure down here because I'm feeling rubbing again. Come on, baby. Oh, you got him. Hey, shut your mouth. Oh, oh, he's heading for the pilot. I, I know. Don't tell me I got him yet, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dang. That's a good fish. Walk this way. Walk this way. Don't do it. Oh, he went past me. He's going out to open water. Whew. I still see some uh, fray in my mono. I see a big fray. All right. Oh, you can eat that one. Drop the net. <laughs> hey, <laughs> why didn't you drop it and let me bring them to you? <laughs> All right, push that thing up. All right, we should have let Sean do the net job. Whatever. All right. Come on, that wasn't a yet. Woo! That was dangerous. There's still a massive fray. I got all mono in here. There's still a massive fray from that break off earlier. I was a little nervous about putting too much pressure on them. 
That's like an eater size there. Just about. I gotta change my battery. Looks like Jack got a hold of it. All right. Another drum, circle hook, corner of the mouth there. These things are so much fun to fight out here on this bridge. A lot of times these big drum get full of worms. Most people don't like to eat them, but when they're a little smaller like this, they're actually really good. Even if they do have some worms, you can just cut them out. Easy. Brant just did a catch and cook with one not too long ago. And the meat is a little sweeter than redfish and it's pretty firm, so actually pretty good to blacken it. Again, we don't have a cooler, we're not keeping any fish today, but if you do catch a black drum that is a little bit smaller, you can't eat it. They're not too bad to eat, but uh, we're gonna get a little release on this, drop another crab down, cut that prey out of my line so we don't have to risk that again. All right, y'all, not much going on with the top water action. Jack got us some live baits. So we're gonna hook up a little Mahara here. See if we can get something on the live bait action here. Live action. There we go. Oh, yeah, it's in the, the boat. There's definitely fish here, y'all. That did not take long at all. We'll grab another bait. Good thing there's plenty of bait out here. I really want to catch a flounder out here today, y'all. That is my goal. We got some bull minnows, some finger mullet. Try this deep hole over here. Look at all that bait. Holy crap. Dude, tons of it. There we go. Oh! That was a real good fish. Dang. I think my braid hit the rock and ended up cutting my braid. All right, retied here, fresh bait. See if we can get eight again. Oh, we got eight. I still got them. They're eating the crap out of that finger mullet. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. First fish of the day. A little pinfish. Whacking them. I'll throw them in the live well. I mean, we may do something with them later. Well, my GoPro died, but uh, through the cast net, got us some more little fish baits here. A few LYs, which are really good. Jellyfish. Alright, daddy needs some fish. A little Mahara. Some fresh live bait. Hey! Hey! Oh, flounder! <laughs> I finally got a fish. Other than my little pen fish. He's uh, a little short. Alright y'all, target species. He is definitely going to be short, but uh, finally got the one we were after. We're going to get some more baits out and uh, see if we can't catch us one a little bit bigger. These fish are so dang cool. We'll let them go over here. See ya buddy. Alright y'all, got another finger mullet hooked up here. Pitch them on out. Let them drift around. Fishing has been tough so far this morning. All right, we came over to the other side of the island here. Been on the struggle bus so far. We got uh, one pin fish and one baby flounder. See if maybe this other side is holding something a little bit better. Still trying to find some dinner here. We got a finger mullet out there. And between these rocks and this deep hole, there's got to be some other flounder hanging out around this side. There we go. There we go. That's a good fish. Come on, baby. Nice. Nice mangrove snapper. Let's see if he's gonna keep. He's gonna be close. From the base of the rod. He's gonna be a little bit short. He's probably about 10 and a half, 11 inches. If we were in Florida, he would keep, but unfortunately, not here in Alabama. All right, that's a good sign though. Got some decent fish around here. <clears throat> Another finger mullet. Send them down. This rock I'm standing on is wobbly as crap. And sketch me out a little bit. This would not be a good place to fall. We got water and rocks in the 360 degrees. Oh, 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 we got eight. There we go. Oh, that one got me straight in the rocks. Oh, he's still on there. He's still on there, too. Let me see if he'll swim out. Give him some slack. 
He's, he's definitely still hooked up. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh, we might have him. Oh, he's still in. He's still hooked up though. My line's just like tangled up in a rock. Oh, I got him, I got him, I got him. Nice. He is barely hooked too. Don't flip. Whew. Look at that hook right there. Barely hooked y'all. Ripped him out of those rocks. This one might keep. Oh yeah. We got our first keeper and I about just fell in the rocks. All right y'all check it out. First keeper of the day. Moving spots is definitely paying off for us. That one got me down in the rocks too. Barely was able to get him out. He's about 12 and a half inches. We're gonna throw him in the live well, get another bait, see if we can't load up on these delicious mangrove snapper here on this flooded island. Let's go. All right, y'all, another finger mullet. Every time I open my live well, like five finger mullet jump out. So I'm running low on bait. I may have to run back in a minute and cast net some more kind of frustrating <laughs> having them jump out of your live well but part of it when you got some mullet I can't believe I was able to get that one out of the rocks I thought I was done and he was barely hooked too so this wind and this current is kind of working around this island this way and so I'm thinking maybe these bigger snapper are hanging on this back side just like holding in the current waiting on some of this bait to be pushed out in front of them because all the smaller ones over on the other side, bigger ones over here. It's just a theory. We're on. We're on. <laughs> nice. What's that? A uh, What are those? A toadfish? Is that what they're called? Yeah. A, or an oyster fish, toadfish, whatever it is. Pretty dang cool looking thing though. Let's see if I can get my hook back. All right, see if I can get another bait without him jumping out here. I think all my finger mullet jumped out. We got another bull minnow here. I was about to say, in about an hour and a half of fishing that side, I got a little flounder and a pinfish. About 15 minutes fishing over here, I got two mangroves, one keeper, and a little oyster fish. So uh, I'd say the move is uh, paying off a little bit here. My dang GoPro died. I don't know what's going on with my GoPro. It keeps dying or turning off. It's not dead. It says it's got 50% battery. But I just caught another mangrove snapper on the bull minnow. He's not going to be a keeper. Hopefully I got... Whoa! I <laughs> about just fell. Hopefully I got a little bit of the fight in there. See ya, buddy. This little setup I got is a Shimano Vanford 3000. Got it loaded with 10 pound braid and then the uh, seven foot ninja dagger. It's like the perfect inshore setup. If you want to pick up the same setup, I'll have it linked down below. You can get the rod and reel. We'll throw in the braid for you for free. All right, y'all, we're starting to get a little slow out on the island. So we're going to move spots here and uh, catch a few more baits and head on over to the bridge and see if we can't catch some fish off the bridge. Hopefully it'll be pretty hot there. Um, had a few good bites on the island, but just slowed down. So we're gonna move spots, see what all we can get into. Catch y'all when we get there. All right, y'all, we made the move to the bridge here. A little Carolina rig and a bull minna. The iPod's not working for some reason, so Jack's our iPilot right now. <laughs> What's your hour, hourly rate for being an eye pilot? For you, it's one reel from Bumble Beach Farm Outdoors. Beach Farm Outdoors. One reel? Yeah. Any kind? Oh, no, we can give it a $400 range. <laughs> 400 yeah. But I do this for eight hours for you. Eight hours, huh? We're about to get pulled over and yeah, we're about yeah. to be on. Hang on. On the bottom. What's that? That's me. <laughs> All right. Captain Miss Sandra, go and get your license and your vessel registration. Watch that. 
pole there. Okay, you got this, this pole back here. Yes, sir. The reason why we're fishing right here? Mango snapper. Well, I'm talking about in violation of the, of the sign that say no fishing the channel right here. Yeah. I mean, honestly, I didn't even see the sign. I, I saw the other boats fishing here, and yeah. I didn't want to fish on the same pylon, so I came to this one. All right, you got your. Yeah, you. yeah. Give me a favor. Look yeah. on the other side of the boat. Tell me if there's an AL on that number. It didn't look like it. Give me a favor. Wipe off your driver's license. What's that? Nine four four five AW. Okay, so you're missing the AL on your number up there. Okay. So the AL and yeah, nine four four five something is wrong because according to your registration, it's AL eight nine eight seven Victor King. Okay. What number is that? That's on there. On the boat? Yeah. Did you buy this boat? I did, yeah. But I just get, redid the registration like a few months ago. Nine four four five. Right. That's not that's not the correct number. You should have AL four numbers two letters. And your AL is six. that the right registration? Is that the new one? Two thousand four C Pro. Yes, sir. That's uh, I guess the, the the number wouldn't have changed. No, the number. Because sent because I read. Did you buy it out of state? No, I moved it. I bought it here. Well, but were they from out of state? Mm -hmm. I don't know. All right, so we're going to do a safety inspection with you today. I need yes, two life jackets and a tight four-throw for you. So when they start getting older and simpated like this, just watch them. Make sure you bend it and it doesn't tear real, okay? Yes, sir. Uh, so we got a fire station? Yep. Is that one? Uh, yeah, I got the whistle, too. They both. Yeah. Go ahead. There you go. All right. And do you have your fishing license? Yeah. Yeah. All right, so you're going after mangrove staffing? Yeah. Mangrove, I think, they're refish, correct? So you have to have your reef permit also. How do you do that? It's just uh, another permit you have to get another license. Okay. I do not know that. Uh, I'm, I'm Florida, so. Go ahead, go ahead and pull it up. You can find it on there. Okay. How long have you been operating here now, then? Uh, I've had the boat for maybe almost a year. Are you originally from Alabama? Or? I'm not. I'm from Tennessee. Tennessee? Okay. 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 So the only ones you can't fish is that one and this one? The two marked channels, yeah. That's yeah. with the lights on it, yeah. yeah. How many can't? Oh, that one and that one over yeah, there. Yeah. The, one, the two with signs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. I just saw the charter boat fishing and didn't even think about it. All right, so got out of the happen today is you get two citations. All right. One is going to be for violation of restricted signs and buoys. We're going to give you a warning for your numbers being messed up on the side. Okay, but I'll leave that when I put it at the DMV. So you're well, I guess I'm just well, no, it, it, you can't fix it at the DMV. You have to fix it. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, so it's this number right here, the AL8987. Uh, That's what has to be on your boat. Okay, it has to be three inch block lettering. That means good. And it has to contrast to the color of the hole. Alright, so there's that back in your license. So on these citations, you can take care of them outside of court. You gotta do that. You need to tell them before the court date, you can tell them to the Alright. If you not think here by the court date, just make sure you agree on that. Day. Okay. Sir. All right. Appreciate it. Cool. All right, Appreciate guys. It. Stay safe. Thank you, guys. You guys have a good one. Well, uh, that sucks. Just got a ticket for fishing the channel. Um, honestly, didn't even pay attention. I, there is a sign on the pylon. I saw these charter boats fishing in the channel in between the pylons right next to us. And so honestly, I didn't even pay attention. We just pulled up to the pylon and started fishing. But apparently in between, there's two sets of those pylons that are the actual channel where you cannot fish. So uh, the one here and then over here, but then some of those other ones you are allowed to fish in. So a little confusing, but there was a sign, Not there wasn't a sign on the pylon we were fishing, but in the channel we were fishing, there was a sign on a different set of pylons that we didn't see. And uh, he gave me a ticket for that. So. It doesn't say how much it is. Hopefully it's not too bad, but um, I guess we're gonna head on back and uh, head to the house, cook up this mangrove snapper for some lunch and uh, catch y'all at the house. 
Alright, what's up guys? We are back at the house now. Got the mangrove snapper cleaned up. We only have one. The uh, short got the, the joke got cut a little bit short by the old state trooper there. He was uh, he was not having it. Must have been having a rough day. After he gave me a ticket, uh, on our way back to the boat ramp to call it a day, he pulled over like three other boats before we got all the way back. So um, maybe he was in a bad mood that day. But anyways, we got enough for a little after dinner snack here. So we're gonna do some baked mangrove snapper on the half shell, let the skin on, and uh, we're gonna use a little spicy seafood seasoning. A little clumped up. <clears throat> Give it a nice little shake shake. Not too heavy on here. And we're gonna hit it with just a little bit of butter, just to keep it nice and moist. Don't want our fish drying out on us. All right, super quick, easy little snack here if you're uh, cooking some dinner by yourself. Uh, just a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of butter. We got the oven heating up to 350 right now. Plop it in until it's kind of golden, crispy, flaky, deliciousness. Give it a little taste test. All right, y'all. <laughs> I knew better than to touch that. Our baked mangrove snapper is ready and it is looking delicious. Still nice and moist, having that butter on it. Hit it with a broil for just a second. It smells yummy. Mm. Doing the, uh, which baked fish with enough butter or whatever, you can keep it moist anyways. But doing it on the half shell, leaving the skin on, basically makes like a little bowl. And it helps hold all that butter and those juices. So good. Which would be really good over some rice with a little bit of a sauce or something. We've already had dinner. I'm just kind of throwing together a little snack because I'm still hungry. I'm trying it out this way. So good. And I talked about in one of my other videos how much I love fried fish. You know, <laughs> we used to fry a lot of fish. Doing the 75 hard and trying to eat better and everything. I have not been eating anything fried. It kind of stinks, but this is still some very good fish. I'm ready, I'm ready to eat some fried fish again though. We still got like a month and a half, a little over a month and a half. Guys, we're gonna get rigged up here. Got the uh, feather crab. Yeah, whenever the tide changes, I haven't even looked at the tide today, but yeah, when the tide changes, it'll slow down and then come back the other direction. Yeah, it's about to be low tide, so it's about to change now. He'll start coming back in this way. There he is. Oh, nice. That actually might be a legal mangrove. On the fiddler crab. Heck, yeah. He's got somebody else's line in him, too. Nice fish. Get a little measurement. Oh, 11 and a half. He is just short. Dang it. I'm going to have to send you back, buddy. All right, that was quick. Let's get us another one on here, see if we can find us a keeper. I don't know how big he is, but I got this little net. Do you know what you have? If he'll fit in this, we can... I can net about half of them. There we go. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. It might be slot too. Good job, man. Yeah, thank you. That was a nice red there. Something nibbled off my feather crab right before then. Get us another one out. Nice. Heck yeah. Be eating good tonight. He already got hooked up again. I'm gonna have to trade you a net for a bull minnow if you keep catching them like this. Yeah, that's what I would say. <laughs> oh, you're a hell of a I noticed you're on, 
you got a webcast. Huh? What's that? You got a webcast. Bill Wright. Yeah, I'm on YouTube, yeah. Are you? Yeah. I'm gonna have to follow you. Yeah, bearded bread. Bearded bread. Bearded bread. Golly. Your fish will be on YouTube one day. <laughs> got them. Yeah. Nice, man. No one. They're running through. Yes, they are. Maybe they'll eat a feather crab. <laughs> Alright, that guy just caught another one on the bull minnow. There we go. First fish. Nice sheep's head. Uh, do you mind grabbing that net for me? I don't know why I left it so far away from myself. Awesome. Heck yeah. Thank you, sir. Sheep's head 14, ain't it? I think. Guys, I haven't caught sheep's head since last year. If y'all don't have the fish rules app, check this out. Link search sheep's head. I think it's 14. Oh, it's 12. Yep, so 12 inches to the fork. Definitely over 12. Alright guys, first sheep's head of the season for me. Got him on the feather crab. We're gonna get him in the cooler, take him home for some dinner, see if we can catch some more. All right guys, so the games warden has come down and was checking everybody's license and uh, looking in some of the coolers. They had talked to this guy here and you just saw him pull that bag out. That guy had caught a red snapper. He actually caught it before I got there. I didn't see him catch it. Um, and it was 16 inches, so it was legal size red snapper. However, right now in Alabama, red snapper is only open Fridays through Monday and today was a Thursday. Um, so he did have an illegal catch here. So you can see them talking to him. They pulled the fish out of his cooler. I'm on my phone trying to pull up, um, trying to pull up my fishing license here because I assume they're probably going to come talk to me as well. That's what they're doing here, talking to the guy. You see, they got the fish with them, and so they're going to head on out, take the fish, and uh, this guy ends up getting a ticket as well for for keeping an illegal red snapper. What's going on, man? Good. You? you good today? Nothing yet. A few bites. I got you. How long you been out here? Uh, not very long. Get the live bait going. Yes, yeah, well, it's feather crabs. I think you're not breaking the luck with that. I know, I've had a few <laughs> bites on them. It's still a little early for sheep but... Them. Yeah, I say if you're not catching them on that, then... Yeah. They're not going to be hidden, but... For Anyways, sure. Do you mind if I take a look at your saltwater fishing license? Yes, sir. You got it on your phone? Yeah. Good deal. We did decent over in Pensacola earlier in the week. Is it uh no well we were catching redfish i know my buddy went out in a kayak and caught some sheep's head yesterday hitting up a bridge i'm not positive where he was but yeah i, I mean i don't know if the redfish are done running through here or not just yet or if they've already made it all the way up in here yeah about a week ago there was a bunch of charter boats and a lot of people just yeah they're good to go man all right appreciate it all right i appreciate it good luck yes to sir you. thank you yeah. all right guys i don't know if i got it on camera or not but the game wardens came down and they were checking licenses I mean, literally, they're just right here, and we're fishing right there. So they, they just walked on over. But so they're just checking fishing license, and one of the guys had actually caught a red snapper. I guess he caught it before I got here. I did not see him catch it. Um, it was 16 inches, which is generally legal when snapper season is open. However, right now in Alabama, snapper season is only open Fridays through Mondays, and today's Thursday. So they did stop him, they took his fish from him, they gave him a ticket. I thought the tickets were more expensive, but he said it was $50. Still not worth it, but he did get a $50 ticket for keeping that red snapper. Other than that, they were just checking everybody's fishing license, making sure they had licenses. If y'all do not already have the Fish Rolls app, y'all saw me using that earlier to confirm the, the size of the sheep's head, make sure you download that app. And also, if you did not know, here in the state of Alabama, if you are fishing for reef fish such as red snapper, you do have to pay the additional ten dollars and get the reef endorsement and that guy did not have that as well so i don't know if they gave him a ticket for that too um, but if you are fishing for reef fish or you're going to keep reef fish such as the red snapper or even the mangrove snapper we keep here a lot you do have to get that reef endorsement so make sure you don't go do that but anyways we got the one sheep's head we need to go make this mokika mokika mokeka something like that if that's not how you pronounce it y'all let me know how to pronounce it i'm not really sure but we've only been trying this Brazilian dish, so we're going to go home, clean this fish up, do the mokika, and I think it's going to be good. Everything sounds good, so let's get in the truck, head on over, clean the fish, and get to cooking. Alright guys, we are back at the house now, excited to try out the sheep's head mukeka, or something like that. Some of y'all commented on the last video how to pronounce it. I think that's right, if not, 
I'm sorry, but we got the sheep's head marinating right now. We got some lime juice, some garlic, some salt and pepper. And while that's marinating, we went ahead and cut up some onions, some bell peppers. We got a little bit of cilantro here. We're about to get the pan heated up. We're gonna cook the onions. I, I'm gonna have to follow this recipe from my phone because this is the first time I've ever done this, but we're gonna try to get started here, get the pan heated up, get the onions in, and get this stew going. Freddie behind the camera has been looking forward to trying this. Let's get to cooking. Did you start the stove for me? Yeah, I'm hungry. You have never started the stove. You always turn it off. Because I'm hungry and it's not heating up, dude. It's literally... I appreciate it, man. That's kind of hot. Yeah, let's, let's, not, let's not go that hot. All Freddie knows how to do is put stuff in the microwave, so... I was showing him the recipe and he was reading down everything and he was like, what is Mainz garlic? I was like, dude, it's minced. <laughs> He's like, oh, my mom cooks me food. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get these onions in here, get them started. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just hope it turns out good. We've had... That's the, like the day I got this comment, I was like, we're making that soup one day. We're going to do it. Yeah. And finally, we, we kind of, like over the summer, we were just like frying fish and making tacos and blackening yeah. and doing, doing some, some grilling stuff. and stuff. And So we kind of hadn't talked about it in a little while. And then we just started talking about it again over the last couple weeks. But we really needed to wait until we caught a fish that I thought was going to be firm enough to withstand being in a soup. Mm -hmm. Finally got a sheep's head, and so I'm really excited. If this isn't good, I'm, I'm actually going to be pretty disappointed. I am too, because it looks so good. Yeah. It really does look good, and the weather's cooling down. I know it. You know, so it's like some hot fish soup. We're mixing it up a bit. But I just hope I don't mess it up. I've never, obviously I've never made this recipe, but I've never made any kind of fish soup. Like, I've always just done basic stuff with fish. Yeah. I've fried fish, I've blackened fish, I've baked fish, and I've grilled fish. <laughs> I've never like made like a legit dish. Yeah. You just cook some fish and you put a side with it. This dish. Half the time we don't even do that. We just eat straight fish. Yeah. We don't even have a side. So this is like a legitimate dish you would order at a restaurant. We don't even know how to pronounce this dish. That's how bougie this is. All right. It's either. There's two that I think it either is. It's either mu kika or mo kika. I think it's kika. Kika. Mu kika. Mu kika. Or mo kika. So the onions are sweating down. Yeah. Brad's got the he's got the instructions over here. We're like instructions. Instructions. It's called a recipe. Well, <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna add in these peppers now. Baby bell peppers going in. It's gonna be a hot soup. The bell peppers not have an arrow, man. Okay. I'm traumatized. I don't want to eat any peppers over here anymore. Did say to put in some chili flakes. Uh, I believe so. Dude, that looks good. Alright, so after that, we had to puree some diced tomatoes, so that's what this is. I'm going to link this recipe below. It's hard for me to tell you everything I'm doing because I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just reading it. <laughs> doing it as we go. But now we got to add some coconut milk. I have no idea if I like coconut milk. I don't know if I know what coconut milk is. I don't milk even like, like coconut water. I don't know if I've ever had anything with coconut milk. We're gonna make it super thick. So is that like chunky? Is coconut milk similar to like heavy whipping cream? Heavy but, whipping cream? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Freddie doesn't know what heavy whipping cream is, obviously. All right, now we're gonna add this tomato puree. This was just some diced tomatoes, but it had me puree them. <laughs> if that makes sense. <laughs> I think you can buy pureed tomatoes, but instead of doing that, I bought diced tomatoes and pureed them myself. <laughs> Alright guys, we've had this simmer in here for a little bit. We're going to go ahead and get this fish in here and let it start to cook. What's that marinade? I wish y'all could smell that. Dude, Freddy. Ooh. It's like nice and citrusy, but <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put this fish in the marinade in here in this sauce. <laughs> We're just gonna let it sit here and simmer for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes or until the fish is cooked and it's gonna be ready to go. All right guys, we got the soup done. I went ahead and cooked up a little bit of rice for us. We're gonna put this soup over top of some rice. 
Not sure what to expect, but it smells delicious. What do you think, Freddy? You think it smells good? It looks pretty dang good, yeah. The smell is on par. I don't know. I like fish, but I'm curious to see how this comes out in the soup form. Do you like soup? Yeah, I like soup. You like rice? I like rice. All right, well, you should, you should like it. Any of y'all that are Brazilian or actually cook this dish regularly, if there's anything I did wrong or should do different, y'all let me know. I have no idea if this is correct. Again, I just followed a random recipe off the internet, so <laughs> that's what we're working with today. I'm going to go feed my wife real quick. Alright guys, we got this dish done. A little bit of mukika. It's like mukika, mokeka, mukika, something like that. Yeah. I don't know. It smells pretty good though. It looks good. Presentation is a 10 10. Smell is a, I'd say 9 and a half, 10. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good, man. But we did make this with the sheep's head. The recipe I followed said shrimp. We just subbed shrimp for sheep's head. Let me a little bit of rice, a little bit of fish. Wait. We're going to wave. It's pretty good. It's a lot of lime. It's definitely got a lot of flavor to it. I taste lime, cilantro, garlic, cayenne, Pepper. paprika. <laughs> I think there's too much lime in here. Those of y'all that I know comment on my videos. There's been a couple of y'all that have known this recipe or known this dish. And a few of y'all <coughs> a few of y'all that have really wanted to see it. Do y'all put lime? If so, how much? <laughs> we marinated the fish in a whole lime juice. And as well as some lime zest. That's what this recipe called for. I, like I think it. for me personally, if it was a little less lime, I'd really like it. Yeah. Everything else is pretty good. The fish tastes good. Yeah, I'm actually it's surprised. Just a lot of lime. I'm surprised I like it with the fish. Alright guys, really though, the dish was actually it was good. It again, was. too much lime for me. Yeah. I think I would make it again. I may actually just completely cut the lime out of it. Yeah, maybe not, not so not heavy. A, not maybe a half, of half of a half maybe no of a zest. Line. Maybe lime no. zest is super strong. So yeah. Maybe no zest. Who knows? We may try it again another way. Yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna fish with some live shrimp here. I got a 50 pound liter. Got a little split shot to get it down. Then I got a little float on here. I cast out, let it drift around. See what we can find. That line did not come off the reel very well. Try that again. There we go. We're just going to let that drift out and wait on something to come eat it. There we go. Fish on. On the first live shrimp. Ah, not the target species. A little hard tell. Yeah, you want them? Yeah, I'm gonna keep them for snapper bait. Snapper bait? Good amberjack bait. Oh, yeah. But if you cut them up, I use them. I've snapper. caught some massive king on this, too. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah, man. Is it a boy or a girl? I don't know. How do you tell? <laughs> Which one? You want to eat it? Stick? <laughs> no lipstick? No <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> All right. Try that again. See if we can find a Spanish this time. Just hooking them right through the tail here. Oh, he didn't cut you off. You ripped no, it out of his yeah, mouth. Yeah. He didn't have it in the front. It's all good though. He just had a nice Spanish on over here. See if we can get one. There's a ton of Elwise down there. Y'all probably can't see it, but here we go. Ah. Oh no. It's not the right one. <laughs> not the target species. <laughs> Dang it. They don't taste that bad. You ever ate one? No, I don't want to. They're you like, should try it. You pan fry it. You want You're it? not that hungry. I can go to Burger King. Right? <laughs> I fried one the other day and it was actually good. My son loved it. Really? Yep. Damn. A little flour, salt, pepper. Yeah. Fry it up. But did you taste it? I tasted it, yeah. I mean, it's not as good as Spanish, but yeah. if you're hungry, it'll eat. <laughs> it's not as bad as hardhead catfish. 
<laughs> get a nibble, get a nibble. Are you there? Yep, there he is. Yes, there you go. That is oh. not the right one again. <laughs> We're just feeding hardtails today. <laughs> ah, get up here. Wish we'd run and drop this down for some Amberjack live. All right, another live shrimp. Trying to find a dang Spanish. Who knew it would be so difficult? Dang, where you were smacking them. <laughs> I didn't even know I had anything on there. I was about to <laughs> recast. Yo, what up, man? How are What's you? What's happening? Good to see you. You too. Any big ones today? Uh, we're here. See if I can find <laughs> one. Dude, my mom and uh, sister are YouTube famous just like you do. Yeah? They do cross stitch in YouTube. And okay. Like you. Heck <laughs> yeah. What do you got, like 30,000? Uh, 20, like 26, oh, 27. How many you got? 30. In the 30s. Nice. And on Instagram too. I can't grow on Instagram to save my life. He was telling oh, me that didn't take long. And I said it would be great for you, since you're experienced, to do a video of showing a amateur like him how to fish. Right? So yeah. There, there's right. a new video. If you teach me how to cross stitch, I will. I'll teach him how to fish. <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> my brother here. Try this again. How deep have they been? Uh, about three foot. Just right out of sight. Your bait. They ain't very deep. I get more bites not letting it hit the bottom. There we go. There on. we go. There he is. Come on, buddy. Is your camera on? It's on. <laughs> Did he catch that? Yep, this camera's off. Get in the spade. Nice. That's a big one, too. Yeah, that's a good one. This is like Morocco. Nice work. Heck, yeah. That's a good one. Sweet. Nice spade fish here. We're going to do us a little catch and cook. They fight pretty good for being as small as they are. All right, let's go see if we can get us another one. Good morning. Yeah. How's it going, man? Good, you, Brad. Good. Alex. You good, man? Appreciate it. Let's just take him off here right now. That video you posted down there at the past got a lot of hits, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What'd that boy have? I, I didn't even watch the whole video. I just saw that it was through the Marine Resources. Through a snapper? Snapper. And it was during season, but it was on Thursday. Yeah. It was a legal size and everything, just a day too early. <laughs> I don't know, I've never really targeted spade fish, yeah. but I got a real small J hook. Oh, look, yeah, he's got the right setup, a split shot. And... That was some big ones. That's what I need to catch. One that size probably break me off. Oh, 100. <laughs> I just got an eight pound line. There we go, there we go. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Nice. Heck yeah. yeah. He's a little smaller. Is it worth keeping this size? You get enough meat off of him for it to be yeah, worthwhile? We do. All right. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll take him. All right. Did you already eat your spade fish? I just cleaned him yesterday. I let him ice overnight. Bleed out a little bit. I'm going to do me a little spade fish catch and cook. Come on, fishy. There we go. Got him. Oh, yeah. Come on, buddy. That's what I've been doing. I've been snagging the hell out of it. Yeah, you snag as many as you catch in the mouth. I know the last one I caught was just hooked on top of the head. Yeah, it's like they bite it and it's hitting it. Yeah, you can use trouble. You caught stuff on what? Stupid things. Bacon, right? Yeah. Dumb things. Marshmallows. Yeah. Really? <laughs> you could probably catch these spade fish on bacon. There we go. That's a little baby. Oh, yeah. pinfish. Pinfish. Look at pinfish. Catch and cook pinfish. Yeah. We did one one time. Really? It was terrible. <laughs> Not a good eating fish. I mean, if that's the only thing you got to eat, I guess it's worth it, but. Yeah. That's good. What's the channel name? The Real Housewives of Prestige. I'll check it out. I'll give you a sub. There we go. Come on. That's a good fighter here. Nice. He swallowed that hook. And then threw up. That was kind of weird. 
and then you swung it at me. Thank you. All right, guys, back at the house now after a pretty slow day out at the pier. I really kind of expected to have a little more action out there. This time last year, we were catching a ton of fish like every day. A couple weeks ago, we had a couple Spanish bites, which y'all saw the video of catching a bunch of Spanish off the pier. But there just wasn't a whole lot going on. The good thing about the Gulf Shores Pier, though, is there's usually always something you can get on, whether that be whiting or pompano up in the shallows or spanish or kings or jacks reds and people catch flounder and trout and today happened to be the spade fish definitely not what i had in mind to target when i got out there to the pier but you got to make the best of what you're getting into so if you are coming down here on vacation and you want to hit up the pier there's always going to be something you can get into they got a big board right at the front of the pier shows what they've been catching spade fish was on that board when i got there in the morning and uh, so, so that's what we ended up with, a couple spade fish. I've never eaten these. Actually, I think that's wrong. I think we did uh, a clickbaiters video last year. I think we kept a spade fish. But I think we like cooked it whole or something, I don't know. And we just like pan seared it. I, I don't remember it being very good though. <laughs> we cooked it with like some, uh, some other bait fish or something. But anyways, today we're gonna cook up some spade fish. I am just gonna fry it up. Anytime I am frying fish, I usually will soak it in a little bit of milk. I put just a little bit of hot sauce in here, not too much. And then I mixed up a little bit of flour and cornmeal. And I went pretty light on this. I just did a little bit of salt, pepper, garlic. That way we can actually taste this fish. Didn't put a ton of seasoning like y'all have seen me do before. The meat doesn't look great. Um, and, I, and it got kind of small pieces out of it. Really only get enough out of the top side. They're kind of shaped fairly round, but really the top section is the only part that had much meat. The bottom section did not have a whole lot going on. We'll go ahead and get this mixed up in the flour and cornmeal. Already got some oil heating up here on the stove. Most people that I've talked to said spade fish is pretty good though. So we shall see. If you've ever tried it, comment down below let me know. How did you cook it? How did you like it? Have you ate it again since? We're about to find out if this was worth it. Because again, the meat didn't really look that great. I'd probably say the meat on the spade fish was kind of similar to like a blue fish. A little darkish, had a little purpley tint to the meat, and it did have a pretty thick bloodline in there. So I guess these fish are just a pretty bloody fish, which I, I didn't really expect, but hey, get what you get. I'm gonna let this oil continue to heat up for just a little bit longer. Toss this fish down in there, fry it up. Do a little taste test. Oil is getting heated up here. Go ahead and toss some fish down in the grease. I ain't plane taking off. It's not like it's about to crash into the house. All right, we're gonna let this cook. I'll catch y'all back when it's ready. All right, guys, the fish is ready here. I mean, it looks good, but. I don't know if fried food can never look bad. It smells fine. Let's break it apart. I mean the meat, it's good and white. Shouldn't be nothing wrong with it. Give it a little taste here. It's um uh, it's definitely different. Mmm. It's got a very distinct, a little fishiness, but something like, maybe a little sweet. I don't know. I'm not a fan. I don't think I like that. I don't think I like that at all. Very, very weird tasting. You know, like, initially the first bite, like, it tasted fine. It tastes like piece of fried fish but like getting a little bit of that meat and that flavor it was again definitely fishy but it had something that was very different I don't know if that was I don't know I think it had just a weird little sweetness that doesn't do it for me not a fan of the spade fish it was not like terrible if I needed to eat it I mean I, I could eat it to survive <laughs> It's not like the worst thing I've ever had. It's definitely not as bad as the hardhead catfish I had. But, um, 
it's not good. I won't be eating it. Maybe, I know some people have talked about bleeding them out. I did not bleed these out. All I did was clean it and cut the bloodline out. Maybe, maybe that could make a difference if you actually bled the fish out. I'm not really sure, but spade fish isn't for me, which is kind of odd. I, I, I thought I was going to like it because a ton of people, even the other guys there at the pier, they were, they were all keeping them and said that they enjoy eating them. But who knows? Maybe it's just a, something different with me. I don't know. Not a fan, though. But, again, anytime you are in town and you want to do some fishing, you can usually find something over at the Gulf Shores Pier. So if you're down here on vacation, make sure you go check them out. Might run into me as well. I fish out there a lot, especially this time of year and throughout the summer. A lot of opportunities out there on the pier. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Appreciate it, guys. And until next time, y'all take care. Yeah. All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're about to head out on the new boat and go see if we can get into some fish. Now, what we're after, it's a little bit early in the season, but we got the right baits, and we're going to head on out, hit some docks, and see if we can find this species of fish. It is a fun one to catch. It's a delicious one to eat. So we're going to go get head out, go see if we can get on some. Today's video is sponsored by Navalis Apparel. You know we love this bamboo clothing, so make sure you go check it out. First link down below in the description. Pick you up some very comfortable clothing. But let's go ahead, go hop on the boat, and go get into some fishing. All right, guys, we just rolled up on a couple dock lights. I'm going to pitch a shrimp up, see if we got any trout or anything hanging out up under here. Maybe some redfish. Oh, we're on. We're on. Oh, he got me in the structure. Dang. That was definitely a fish. Yeah, we may have to try that again. All right, just put another shrimp out there. We did have two lights. I don't know if one of them just turned on because of the, it's getting lighter outside or if somebody up in the house saw us fishing it and turned their light off, but we only got one now. Well, the weatherman said no rain today. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> I think it's raining. Yeah. When I got this boat, I was considering taking the T-top off, but thank God I did not. It's been good on the hot days to keep the sun, and it's definitely nice on the rainy days right. to limit the amount of rain we're getting on us. Yeah. Right, we're gonna go pedal on up here. It looks like the rain should pass any minute now. We got clear skies over that way. So uh, hopefully it's gonna clear up when we can get to fishing. All right, y'all, we just pulled up on this dock here. It's got this little seawall out to the side as well. I'm gonna pitch a live shrimp up. Let's see if we can't find some fish. It's a beautiful little area back here though. I've never been back here. I'm on, I'm on, I'm on. Uh-oh. Oh, get him off the piling. Tell me that's a sheep. Get off the piling. Oh. No. He's still on there. He's still on there. Get him, buddy. Oh, get out of that piling. Oh, this is so sketchy. Oh, all right, he's out, he's out, he's out. He's out. Come here, come here. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. Oh, what we got, baby? First fish of the morning. It's either a redfish or a sheep's head. Oh, it was a red. And pulled the hook. Straightened it out a little bit. Straightened it. Oh, that was a nice slot redfish too, man. 24, 22, 24. Crap. My leader's all frayed to crap from rubbing on that pylon. I'm gonna have to completely retie here. He was right at the boat, dude. Dude, right there, just rolled and God. pulled. Yank that hook right out. That hurts my heart. All right, well, that's a good way to blow it. All right, well, we screwed the pooch in that last one. We got a new leader, new hook. See if we can find us another one. I need a trolling motor. I need a trolling motor. I need a trolling motor. Hey, hey, hey. All right, we're going to switch it up and throw out a feather crab now. See if we can catch something on the crab. Come on, fitty. The current's not as bad right here. There we go, there we go. Fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, it's a sheep's head. Shut up. I got a sheep. I got a sheep. You got it? Yeah, I got it. All right. Oh, come here, baby. Come here, baby. Oh. Got him. First sheep's head of the year. First sheep's head in the new boat. And it's a keeper. On the crab. On the crabby patty. Nice. All right, what are they, 15 to the fork or 12 to the fork? Uh, yeah. 
Yeah? Yep. 12 to the fork? Hey! Yeah, get down there so you don't flop out of the boat. Beautiful sheep's head. So 15 to the fork. He's 16 inches. Heck yeah. All right, y'all, check it out. First sheep's head of the year. 16 inches to the fork on the fiddler crab. We've just been coming back through this little creek. We weren't even sure if sheep's head would be back here. The water's still a little bit warm. Uh, we hooked the redfish earlier, so we, we knew there would be some fish back here. But this was the target species for the day. Super excited to get one. We're going to throw it on ice, take it home, do a little catch and cook. See yep, if we can babe. find us some more, man. Yeah. That is a good looking spot right there. See if it's got a sheep on it. <laughs> <laughs> got to do the sheep call. I think that's the noise they make too. <laughs> <laughs> that ladder. Oh, money. Money, money, money. <laughs> Dang, nabbit. It's a giant. Oh, yeah? Nice. What'd you catch, Mom? Yeah. See if they like a live shrimp back here. There's definitely some fish busting back here. Not a hundred percent sure what it is. I think we have an idea. Let me see if we can get hooked up on one. That was definitely a tarpon. Oh yeah. There, tarpon? there are so many little tarpon rolling back in this little cove we're in. We just gotta figure out what they're gonna eat. What are they gonna eat? All right, there's a bunch of little micro tarpon back here. So I put on the little Miradine twitch bait here, trying to find something that they are gonna eat. Well, we are getting pulled over. What's it? First time to be pulled over since I've owned a boat. I don't know what's gonna happen here, but. Yes. How, you how you doing? doing? All right, how are y'all doing? Good. Good. What's going to today? Just trying to find some sheep's head. Yeah. Thanks, sir. Yes, sir. So, Captain, when y'all are entering the channel like that, and go all the way across the channel, get on that right side of the road. Yeah, right I just, that's what I was. I just recently got this boat. That's what I was asking him when, when I saw you. I was like, all right, what am I supposed to do here? Okay. Yeah, so yeah. we get all the way across. Yeah, the way. it's just like the highway. Right, right. You right. Know, make sure you're just being safe and get all the way across. Yeah, yeah. Cool. that's why I just backed it down and was yeah. gonna let you go if you needed, but. Let me run some checks real quick. While I'm doing that, if you'll grab two life jackets All right. and a uh, fire extinguisher. Yep. Yes, sir. Hope it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I've never even looked at it. Yeah, I see life jackets got a uh, horn and whistle. Yep. There's the horn. What's that? Aim it towards the trees and bump the horn. Damn. Yes. Um, it, it's in the front, yeah. It's gonna be under all that crap. Um, maybe two or three months now. Two months. I don't remember. The, I don't know. Yeah, I'm originally from Tennessee. I didn't. We don't have to have those there. I didn't realize. All right. So Alabama um, had that. Do you have, sir? Do you have a vessel license? Uh, I do. I have an op, I have a captain's license. But do you have an Alabama? What state's your license from? Do Alabama. A, Alabama. Let me see it real quick. Yeah. I'll try and keep you on the water. Today. All right. I appreciate it. All right. Yep. Guess what? You get to drive the rest of the day. Right at that. <laughs> I'm good at that. That's <laughs> what you do for a living. <laughs> yeah. You know where the, the fire department is uh, back behind the courthouse on 161? Uh, yeah. yeah. Yep. Uh, on Saturday the 22nd. Okay. Uh, which is not this coming weekend, but the weekend after. I've got a boater safety course. Sweet. Um, you're going to have to, Type so that you in have my to take calendar. a course to get the certification to be able to go to the to get the license right so but I, I could do it there at, you can come at to the that course place and get, and get the certification okay 
It's at eight o'clock on the twenty second at the at the uh, fire firehouse on one sixty one. Okay, cool. Okay. I'll check uh, that out. So I want you to be there because yeah. I'm not gonna write your citation for the license. Okay? All right. I appreciate right. it. <laughs> so I'm gonna help Thanks, you out man. a little bit. Yeah. You in my class. Thank you. So nice. I'll definitely you be get there. To the rest of the well, day. I appreciate it, guys. Y'all Thanks, man. On the right side of the road. For yeah, we will do. That. We appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. Be safe, guys. All right, you too. Well, that is our first time to get stopped <laughs> while on the new boat, <laughs> which I knew it was gonna come at some point in time. The reason I didn't have the cameras rolling, but what happened was we were coming out of. Um, I don't really know where the Wolf Bay yeah. and we we're coming into the main channel here and he was only already coming through I didn't know for sure if I had enough time to like go in front of him and get around So I just backed it down because I wasn't 100% sure what to do He and did he just was, lay up right off of it. So yeah, he didn't do anything really wrong. Yeah, no I mean I, I, I backed it down. Yeah, and basically stopped we so he could keep going channel. and no uh, So we pulled us over Asked for all the stuff. Everything was good except I gotta get a boater's license for the state of Alabama, which I wasn't 100% aware of. In Tennessee, you do not have to have that unless you're like under a certain age. Um, so I, I didn't know that. I had the registration, had all the other safety stuff, but luckily old Captain Matt here <laughs> had his captain's license with him to save the day. So y'all make sure to go sub to Matt's channel. I'll have it linked down below in the description, but. All in all, the dude was super nice. Didn't have any issues or anything, but uh, yeah, he's just doing his job. Right. Checking to make sure that everything's good. And it's all good there. He He's actually running a class in like a week and a half. And I guess he's teaching the class. Yeah. And I, I pretty much have to, I have to be there. Yeah. I told him I'd be there. Yeah. So I guess I'm taking the boater safety class here, right. in, here in about a week. But uh, which I need to do it anyways, because we got to have it to be legal. You got to have it. So we're going to go piddle on up a little further, see if we can find some more fish. Because uh, we need something else in the box. We're going to do it. One we're sheep's head is not feeding both no, of no, us. No, no, no. We'll make something happen. Yeah. Here. But I'll catch y'all when we get on some fish. Okay. We were on the way back after getting stopped by Marine Patrol and just saw this sunken barge. Looks like it's been here for a while. So I just put on a live shrimp. We're going to throw out this live shrimp and see if we got anything hanging out on this barge. Perfect cast. I've got to get a trolling motor, man. Oh, I just got eight. He got off. That did not take long. He probably just stole my shrimp, though. There's definitely fish there. I don't know exactly what it is, but we got eight pretty quickly. All right, let's get another shrimp back over there. Oh, we're on. We're on. We're on. Oh, what we got? What is it? What is it? Mang. Mang. No. little mangrove snapper these oh. fish and look at he's starting to get darker now that he's out of water super cool fish they got to be 12 inches here in alabama so he's definitely not a keeper but uh we're gonna have to fish this a little more see if there are any keeper mangroves on this shipwreck here hook up another shrimpy here toss him back out see if he'll get eight again we need 12 inches 12 inches that's what she said yeah oh 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 come on Got him. Oh, that one feels better. That one feels better. Come on, baby. That's definitely bigger fish. What is it? Oh, oh it's a croaker. That's why he nice. felt a little better. It is a good one. A little small to keep. We wouldn't get much out of him, but that is a nice little croaker. Good they snook do. bait. Those things eat good. They do. I ate one for the first time a week or two ago. Oh, really? And it was delicious. There's got to be some sheep's head hanging out around this too, I would think. Oh, there we go. We're on again. Oh, we just spit it. All right, guys, we are back at the house about to get ready to cook up some of this sheep's head. And this sheep's head is delicious, man. If you haven't had it, you definitely need to try to get you some this winter. Try it out. I mean, it's super white. It almost looks like grouper. And uh, so we're going to do some blackened fish tacos. Courtney picked up this new blackened seasoning. It's Kinder's. This is from Sam's Club. It's got cayenne and lemon in it. And so we're gonna go ahead and season this up. Get the <clears throat> pan going here. Already got a little butter and olive oil in the pan. Season up the sheep's head. It is game day. We got Tennessee versus Alabama starting in two hours. Two hours till kickoff. By the time you see this, you already know what happened. Hopefully it's a big win for Tennessee, we'll see. 
We're uh, having some people come over. I'm also cooking some pork belly burn-ins, which I started a new channel, Bearded Brad Barbecue. So if you like grilling, smoking meats, anything like that, I'll put a link down below. Make sure you go subscribe to my other channel. Gonna be cooking all kinds of stuff. So we're cooking some pork belly burn-ins, which will be, that video will be on the other channel. So uh, y'all go check it out. We're gonna let this pan get heated up here. We actually had some uh, some stuff to put on our tacos this time. A lot of times we just do the same old stuff. We got some bell peppers, onions, jalapenos, fresh mozzarella cheese. We actually got some spinach. A little bit of healthiness going on today. Of course we got the uh, sour cream though. We're gonna let this pan get heated up. We'll toss the fish in. Get to cooking. All right, the pan is heated up here. So we're gonna go ahead and toss some of this fish in here. We have not actually done fish tacos in a minute, it feels like. Or at least definitely not black, and we've been pretty much frying everything. Trying to uh, watch the weight a little bit, try to cut down on the fried food. I don't know if the blacken's any healthier, but that's what, <clears throat> that's what we're rolling with today. Uh, the fish is done. We're gonna go ahead and get it pulled off here. It is looking and smelling delicious. Ah, falling apart on me. We're gonna hit this pan with a little oil. Then we're gonna warm up our tortillas. Get some flavor, get a little crisp on the flour. Makes them really good. that good no it's good it's just not like super salty mm -hmm. like we like it i don't even know if she's been on camera yet she i don't know <laughs> if y'all haven't seen her yet <laughs> there she is giant bow she's like what in the world is that thing <laughs> all right we're gonna make up one of these tacos and go with some cheese first jalapenos I do not like onions, so I'm not doing onion. Do some bell peppers, a little spinach. And grab us some of the sheep's head here. And of course, some sour cream. Gotta have sour cream on the taco. Top it with a little salsa. Courtney's just gonna stand out of frame and stare at me while I eat. <laughs> Check it out, looks good. I always end up with sour cream all in my beard. But I can't ever tell if it's there or not. It's good, but I don't know if it needed more of the seasoning or if that blackening seasoning is just kind of mild. But it's not like overpowering like Tony's or Slap Your Mama or something like that, but Pretty good. All right, we're gonna finish eating lunch. Go out there and finish cooking on the uh, the burn ends. Make sure you go check out Bearded Brad Barbecue. Link below. Go see how those turned out. Hopefully, uh, hopefully Tennessee wins this afternoon. Y'all know by the time you see this. I appreciate it, guys. Until next time, y'all take care. You have reached the Alabama Marine Police here in Orange Beach. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got Captain Kelton with us this morning. He wanted to take the boat out, see what we can get into. So we're about to head out the pass this morning. Beautiful morning out here in Orange Beach, Alabama. It is snapper season. I'm not sure we're gonna go out after that though. I think we may stay close to the beach. There's been a lot of tarpon rolling. I've been seeing them from the beach. I've seen them from the boat sometimes we've been out. So we're gonna look for some tarpon. Also see maybe we can get into some Spanish mackerel, maybe some king mackerel. Who knows, maybe a big school of jacks. We're just gonna ride around, see what all we can get into this morning. Only got a few hours, got some friends in town, so we're gonna go hang out with them, but really looking to get something we can throw in the cooler, like the Spanish, and uh, do a little fish fry with our friends or something, but if this is your first time to the channel, make sure you go smash that subscribe button. Do a lot of saltwater fishing, mainly here on the Alabama coast, but all throughout Florida as well. But uh, we're about to head on out the pass, see if we can get on some fish. You ready, buddy? He's ready, he's focused.
All right, so we just got us a small little X wrap and a little glass minnow jig. Trolling two rods out the back here. We're just looking out, seeing if we can see maybe some fish blowing up anywhere. If we do that, we'll drive to them, but otherwise we're just gonna troll around. Try to catch some of these Spanish. Again, we're just trying to load the boat, do a little fish fry for our friends. We got one, Kelton. Get him, buddy. First fish of the morning. Real, buddy, real. Let's see what we got. We're trolling a little glass minnow jig right down the beach. It got smoked. What do you think it's gonna be, Kelton? Think it's a Spanish? Let's see if we got us a Spanish. Don't work them too hard, okay? It's nice and easy with them. A Spanish would be nice. We'd like to get a mess of Spanish in the cooler. Get the net ready in case it's a big one. Man, he was back there. Keep reeling, buddy. Oh, I think you're tangled with this one. Hang on one second, buddy. He got us tangled up. Just leave him right there for a second. Yeah, don't let go of that rod. Ugh. All right. Bring him on up. Oh, it's a Spanish! Woo! Good job, Kelton. First fish of the morning is a Spanish Mac. Yeah. Wait, we're gonna have to catch that one back out because what if we get another one? I don't know it. We want to get another one. Then gonna eat it. All right, let's throw them on ice. Okay. Kelton's got the first fish of the morning. High five, buddy. You gonna leave me hanging? He's leaving me hanging on camera. <laughs> you stinker. <laughs> All right, there's a bunch of fish blowing up over here, so we're gonna pull in these lines and run over here real quick. See what we got busting the surface. Goodness gracious, look at this feeding frenzy, y'all. Can y'all see that in the camera? Dude. That's some big fish, Kelton. Do you want me to cast over? Let me try to ease up to him. That might be Benita, bro. See if you can throw in them. Go, 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 go. Dude, if Kelton gets hooked up on a Bonita right now, this would be so freaking sick. Real, 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 real. Fast, 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 fast. Bonita like it fast. As fast as you can. Super fast. Let me see, let me see, let me see. Watch. You want to reel as fast as you can. Oh Is this Bonita? What? They were freaking blowing up the surface. I cannot believe they didn't eat this. All right, keep casting. I think they're still right in front of us. I'm gonna go grab the other rod. All right, try to keep an eye out for them here. Oh, oh you got one, you got one. Get him, buddy. Get him, get him. Hang on, hang on, easy with them, easy with them. You got him? All right, what is it? Oh, it's ladyfish. <laughs> oh, gosh. I thought that was a bunch of bonita. The way they were blowing up the surface. Whoa. Here, hold the rod. Nice ladyfish, Kelton. Are we going to keep it? No, we don't need ladyfish. Oh, dolphin. Man, the way they were blowing up, I thought for sure that was bonita. Well, that was intense for a second. Now, let's just wait and see if we see anything blowing up. I'm gonna, can I start catching again? Sure. That was a giant school of them. Good job hooking one, dude. They're blowing up, they're blowing up. I'm gonna reel in these trolling rods throw over there. See if maybe it's some Spanish this time. They're moving quick. It might be those ladyfish again, but we're gonna go double check. I don't wanna miss out on some Spanish. Oh, that looked like a Spanish jumping. Could be Spanish and ladyfish. All right, run up there, Kelton. To the front. Go throw on them. See if you can hook up. I'm gonna throw out here too with this little X wrap. They are blowing up these glass minnows. You on? You got him? All right, Kelton's on. Yeah! Spanish, flip him in, flip him in, flip him in. Good job, dude. Oh, I'm on, I'm on. Oh, I got off, I'm off. Oh, I'm on again. They chased it to the boat. Oh, 
dang, he got off. All right, let me let me get your Spanish. That way you can throw back out there. They're blowing up everywhere. Yeah, they are. We got two. If we get two more. All right, go go cast, dude. Where they go? You see him? You're the only one catching fish this morning, Kelton. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Yep, let me pull up there a little bit. I think I see him. I'm trying to scan around, see if I see him blowing up anywhere. All right, I see something blowing up up there. We're going to run up there. Kelton just saw something and cast it out. Oh, he got another Spanish. I didn't even see him. I told Kelton to just ride up front and let me know if he saw something. He goes, I see him, and he cast out and got him another Spanish. Good eyes, buddy. Kelton's crushing it. I need to get a towel back in this boat. Rinse my hands off. You gonna let me catch a fish today or you gonna catch them all? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> what is that? Oh, that's like a little puffer fish. He's trying, there's a little blue crab on the surface. There's a little puffer fish trying to eat the crab. Oh, they're blowing up, they're blowing up. Let me reel in. Look, we gotta turn around. They're behind us now. We got some people fishing too, so we can't get too close. I always got to keep that in mind because when I fish the beach, I get so mad at boats coming in close. <laughs> now I'm in a boat and there's somebody fishing the beach right there. Try not to get too close to him. Kelton saw something threw out and got hooked up again. Oh, gosh. Is it a Spanish? It is. It's a big Spanish. That's the biggest one of the morning. Nice, dude. Kelton is crushing it. That's... What's that, number four? Yeah. Span Kelton has four Spanish. Uh, we're just going to throw around these jetties now. See if we can find something hanging out here. Oh, there's one. I got, I got one, Kelton. Oh, it came off. How'd he come off with the treble hooks? Hey, set down, set down. Big waves. I'm on again. I'm on again. Stay on, baby. Stay on, baby. Oh, what we got? This one feels decent. What is it? Ah, there's a bluefish. Bluefish love hanging around these rocks. If we get some big ones, I'll keep some bluefish, but he was, he wasn't quite big enough to keep. See if I can catch one. I haven't caught a Spanish yet today. Oh, he came up and swiped that and missed it. Kelton, throw out here. They followed it up to the boat. They swiped at it. There he is. He hit it as soon as it hits the water. Over here, Kelton. Throw straight out where I was. Oh, that's a good one. Cast, cast, cast. Spanish. Yeah, cast. Woo! Got my first Spanish of the day, Kelton. I know. Kelton said I got four. <laughs> All right, throw it as far as you can in front of us. You'll get one. Donde esta? Dad, I saw one. See him? How far? It wasn't far. Okay. See if we can get them. These Spanish move so quick. As soon as you find them, it's like, bam, they're gone. All right, just cast and see if we find them. Oh, oh there they are, right there, right there. Go. Throw. Perfect. That was a great cast. Oh, I've got one. I got one. That's a little. That must be a hardtail. No, it's a Spanish. He's just swimming in. All right, get him, get him, get him. Another Spanish. Heck yeah. All right, y'all, check it out. Not a giant by any means, but these are good eaters. I think we got like six in the boat now. I don't know where they're moving on to. These Spanish move so quick. Once you find them, you got to keep moving around with them. So we're going to bump around, try to find some more. We are loading the cooler today, boys. All right, we got a piece of trash in the water right up here. We go up with the net and get it out. Probably a boat running out this morning flew out of their boat. You want to get it, Calton? You want me to get it? Yeah. All right, Kelton, get that trash out of the water. Woo! <laughs> Good job. Thank you, sir. All right, let's go find some fish. Y'all, check this out right up here. We almost just ran over somebody's fad. It's like right at the surface. That is freaking dangerous. Look at that right there. I don't know if that's showing up in camera. 
like PVC pipe, a whole bunch of stuff. Might need to, uh, I don't know if there's a way I can get it or. All right, we almost just ran over somebody's fat. It was like right at the surface, super dangerous. I'm gonna call in to the uh, marine resources. I don't know if, like that, that's freaking dangerous. Let's see. If we ran over, it'd mess up our motor. All right, let's see if anybody answers. You have reached the Alabama Marine Police here in Orange Beach. If this is an emergency, please hang up and call 911, your local sheriff's department, police department, or state trooper's office. This is not an emergency. Please leave a message and we'll contact you back as soon as possible. All right, well, they say they want to leave a message. Let's see if there's another number. Let's try this number. You have reached the Alabama Marine Police here. Same in number. Beach. If this is an emergency, all right, well, everything just uh, goes to voicemail. I guess it's Saturday, nobody's in the office right now, but went ahead and marked the spot on my GPS. I'll, uh, I guess, call them back on Monday, maybe. Or uh, they're, they're always hanging out on the water when we get back in, I may stop and say something, but that one is dangerous. I know a lot of people end up putting fads out, just trying to attract bait, which in return attracts fish. And a lot of people do it to try to get cobia on there. Um, or even just to have a spot that they're guaranteed to go catch some bait because there's a ton of bait around it but For one it's illegal. You're not supposed to do it at all But but if you're gonna do it at least put it a little bit under the surface where a boat's not gonna run it over Because seriously if I would have not missed that I mean it would have I would have had that whole thing in the prop like that could have been dangerous out here Especially with my kid like nobody wants to run over a fad definitely don't want to do it with a six-year-old in the boat so I don't know, I guess I'll try to call back on Monday when they're open. I got a buddy that works for Orange Beach Police, so I may let, I may give all the information to him and maybe he can work it out a little easier than I can, but super sketchy. We're, uh, we're going to keep on looking for some fish and uh, see what we can get into. All right, we got some Spanish blowing up, Kelton. They've been chasing these glass minnows all morning. Oh, there they are. Do you see them? Oh, I'm on, I'm on. I'm on, Kelton, cast. Oh, nice Spanish. Come on, baby. Heck yeah. It's been a minute since we've caught one. Let me get some more in the cooler. Another beautiful Spanish mackerel going on ice. All right, well, the bite has seemed to slow down a little bit. I think we are going to head in, run to the grocery store, and uh, maybe cook up some of the Spanish. We got some friends coming over. We're going to go to the pool. <laughs> what kind of face is that? We got crazy Kelton. He says since he caught the most fish, he gets some candy. So I guess we're gonna go get some candy. Hi. What kind of candy are you gonna get? All of them. All of them? We're about to head on in the pass and uh, I'll catch y'all when we get to the house. All right guys, back at the house now with all our fish. Kelton, did you have fun? All right, we're gonna do something different with the Spanish. Usually we fry it, but we're gonna do some smoked Spanish fish dip. You wanna make some fish dip, Kelton? Yeah. All right. We got a Key West seasoning, which is another one of our samples uh, for some seasoning we tried out. It's not coming out right here. There we go. Hello, I'm Key West. Hello, I'm Key West. Does it smell good, Kelvin? No. No. It smells like ramen. It smells like ramen? I want to melt it. It does kind of smell like ramen. It smells like corn. Corn? Yeah. It smells like ramen or corn? All right, let's go start the smoker. No. Uh, we're gonna get the smoker ready. I did forget to mention that I did already clean the fish. I left the skin on. The skin will help protect it while it's on the smoker. And then I'll just peel the meat off after we're done. I got the pit balls here. Kelton already turned it on, but I think he got the wrong temp. We're gonna set this thing at 250. We gotta open this up. Let it start. I need to clean this thing. Once we get a flame going, I'll close it all down, let it come up to temp, but uh, we leave it open as it heats up. If y'all never use a pellet grill, these things are awesome. Throw a bunch of pellets in over here and uh, you can grill on it, smoke on it. We got a little garden that's looking pretty sad. All right, we got the smoker up to temp here. Kelton, you gotta help me out? All right, <clears throat> we're gonna throw all the fish up on the top rack here. Kelton, let me do one and I'll show you. So you're gonna pick it up by the tail end here. Ah! A little slippery. 
We're just gonna put it just like that. Think you can do that? Yeah. You got it, dude? We're trying to line these things up just like this. Last but not least, <clears throat> fits on there perfect. I don't know exactly how long this is gonna take, but we're gonna let it smoke until it is done. Maybe an hour or two, I don't really know for sure. We'll go mix up that dip. All right, smoked fish is done. We're gonna get it pulled off, get it shredded, start making the dip. I'll catch you on the kitchen. All right, guys, we got all the fish off the smoker, got it all shredded up in a bowl. I will say, I will definitely be taking the skin off the fish before we smoke it. Next time it was kind of a pain to get the meat off the skin because Spanish and any kind of like king mackerel if you did with them too like that skin is so thin after it cooked it's just like kind of stuck on there so that was kind of a pain but we got it and it is what it is yeah. now we are going to take equal parts of sour cream and mayonnaise you have to have Duke's mayonnaise Daddy, Duke's mayonnaise is by far the best mayonnaise Daddy, no, I don't yep. so we're gonna put our sour cream in a bowl. All of it? <laughs> Wait, I'm gonna squirt it on. And again, equal parts of mayonnaise. Okay. Ready? One, two. Wait, let me do it. Go. Excuse you. That way, like somebody. Are you using all of it? Are we using all of it? That much. Daddy. All right. Who wants to mix it? Me. 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 Right, mix that up. So this is just equal parts of sour cream and mayonnaise. That is our base. Beach Bum loves white sauce, so I bet he would like this dip. Mayonnaise is his favorite. So now we're going to take one of the sample seasonings we got that we cooked with the uh, whiting the other day. We're going to season this up. And you can use any kind of seasoning you got. Some Old Bay, some Tony's. Any kind of Cajun seasoning would be good. Season it however you want. As much or as little. Mix all that in there real nice. You gonna do it? And but I do it though. I'll do it. We're gonna take just a little dab of Worcestershire, Worcestershire, Worcestershire whatever. You gotta open it first. There's nothing in it. <laughs> I forgot yeah. to open it. You could have just poked a knife in it and uh -oh. leave the knife in it and then pour it out. Let me take the do you know how to pronounce Worcestershire? Can you say Worcestershire? Can you say Worcestershire? Worcestershire. Daddy, I want to do it. Hang on, no, because we're not doing a lot. Just a little bit. A little dab will do you. Oh, that might tell me. All right, Roxy, your turn. Mix it up. Wait, Dad, can I go for cheese? Then we got some Parmesan cheese. Open this up. I need you to stir it. We gotta mix it, okay? Yeah, so like this. Oh. Sure, dump it in there. I don't have to eat done. One more. I don't eat done, though. You can never have too much cheese. Go and make it a mess. And now we need our fish. You already tried some fish, right? You ate some? Did you like it? Yeah. We don't need all of it. All right, start dumping some fish in. Okay. As he's putting some fish in, I'm just gonna <laughs> keep mixing. <laughs> sure. All right, now we're gonna mix in this fish here. Not a lot, though. Is that enough? Oh no, that's quite a bit. Not a lot. It that is a lot. You again, know. add as much or as little. Dad, not a lot. Have it as fishy, as chunky as you want it. Dad. You excited? Who's ready to try it? Me. Me. I'm gonna get a chip. All right, we got these. I don't even know what kind of cracker this is. Whoa, those are Garden so vegetable cracker. Whoa, whoa. Oh, don't get... whoa. You gotta try it. <laughs> I don't want to eat this. I don't want to eat this. Alright. First bite. You like it? Mmm. Mmm. You want to try Yeah, try it. Get a big old chunk of Spanish mackerel on there. I like it. I like it. I can't get the fish. Fresh Spanish mackerel fish dip. Ah. And you caught it. Oh. 
See if he wants some. Go, go. Adios, we get those. We got another friend. Alright, we got Cohen. Come on, I'm Cohen. You ready? Hmm, will I like it? No. 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 Turn no. No. He just got done eating dinner, so he might be full. He was like. Are you going to eat it without the dip? It's always fun going out there with you catching some Spanish. We've been on the boat a few times and uh, have struggled to make a video. Got us some fish, got us a video. Yeah. Almost ran over a fad, had to call uh, Marine Patrol. <laughs> Still gotta figure that whole situation out. I'm gonna deal with Orange Beach Police because I know some people there and uh, see what we can work out with them. And maybe they can go get that thing taken care of, we'll see. But, we're going back up here. But uh, we're going to get everybody ready for bed. Hope you all enjoyed that video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Helps me out a ton. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure you go subscribe. Y'all want to sing Rocky Top real quick? Watch out, no. They've been trying to see how fast Watch they can sing Rocky Top. Watch come out, come here, come here, come here, come here. Get up in the chair. Football season is right around the corner, and they're practicing. So Knox, let them hear it. Watch out, Bob. I don't see how many are on the Watch out. Watch out, Timothy. All right. Now do it slowly. Watch out, Bob. I beat. Your favorite football team. I'll catch y'all. Yeah, my favorite one is eat all of it. 